Hello and welcome to this MRC PCH revision video. Today we're going to discuss the kidney's role in acid-base balance. So here we have a picture of the nephron and the kidney's role in acid-base balance starts in the proximal convoluted tubule. So let's take a closer look. So this diagram shows the lumen of the tubule at the top the cells of the tubule wall in the middle and the paratubular capillary at the bottom. So let's go through the sequence of events. So at the glomerulus, uh, protons and bicarbonate ions are freely filtered like this. And in the tubular lumen, they combine to form carbonic acid. Now, uh, on the luminal side of the tubule wall, the tubular cells have on their surface a carbonic anhydrase 4. And when carbonic acid comes into contact with this, it's split up into water and carbon dioxide. That then joins up with carbonic anhydrase 2 inside the cell and dissociates back into protons and bicarbonate. So what happens next is chloride from the circulation joins up with the bicarbonate at a transporter and is exchanged. So chloride goes into the cell and bicarbonate is reabsorbed into the blood. So what about the protons that are generated? So the first one, there is a proton pump, so ATP. A, an ATPase that actively secretes hydrogen ions into the tubular lumen. Sodium is also freely filtered and there is a sodium proton exchange uh, on the luminal surface and the remaining protons are exchanged for sodium. The proton the bicarbonate is then absorbed back into the circulation and the protons are excreted in the urine. So we'll recap that again on this side. So again, the filtered proton and bicarbonate joins up to form carbonic acid that then joins up with luminal carbonic anhydrase 4 to form water and carbon dioxide, which is then taken up by carbonic anhydrase 2 and converted into protons and bicarbonate. The bicarbonate is then exchanged with chloride from the circulation and the bicarbonate is reabsorbed into the circulation. And the protons are either actively secreted by a proton ATPase or exchanged for sodium from the, from the filtrate. The protons are then excreted in the urine and the bicarbonate is, is reabsorbed into the blood. So the proximal convoluted tubule accounts for 